Hello. Today we will work one position where the enemy king didn't castle yet and uh, he can't castle in next few moves. For example, he needs here e3, bishop, d3 and then he can castle. So he needs to spend three tempos to escape with the king from the center. For now the king is not uh, in some dangerous position because white is covering a lot of space here, especially the knight on e5 is uh, practically on the great place and uh, we can't do anything here. The queen is also in good place because she's covering b4 square, so we can't give check here. We don't have anything from that check because he can cover with the queen. So the king uh, is not exposed to attack yet. So this, that is the problem for black. But we can play something. We can try to keep him busy. That is the best way how how to uh, not allow him to develop the bishop and then to castle. So keep him busy. How we can keep him busy here? Uh, the bishop is already in good place and probably we can't do anything better with that bishop. The other knight can't go anywhere because he's pinned. And um, the queen can't go on a5 because that will be tempo move for white. He can play b a queen before and uh, we will be forced to move the queen. Or if we trade the queens then it doesn't matter if the king is in the center because we enter in end game. Um, so we can't play queen a5, but where else we can put a queen? I don't see good square, so it's not with a queen. Uh, the pawn on b7 is hanging, but we are not interested to defend him because we need speed in attack. So let's try to find some uh, tempo move here and uh, then to continue with attack because we need to keep him busy so he can't develop his pieces and to castle. That is priority here for, for black. So the move is knight c6. Why knight c6 is tempo move for us? First, we want to take the, the pawn here. That is important. Second, now he can't play e3. We stop e3. How? Because we can play knight a5. And after knight a5, that will be check, not check, that will be checkmate. He will be forced to, uh, to cover that check with the queen and then he will stay without queen, of course, because we can capture with the knight. So, he can't play e3 here. Something what probably he wants to play, but he can't. Uh, the pawn is hanging here, so g3 is also not available at the moment. Um, what else he can play? I don't know. So probably the, the most logical move here is to take. So we eliminate one knight. Our knight was on starting position. And we, we eliminate him with, without losing any tempo for his knight. Great idea, I suppose. But nothing special, of course, this is just developing move. But if you understand what you need to do, then it's so easy for you to play chess. So knight c6, he will trade, he, he, uh, we will force him to trade. Okay, so we capture with a b pawn, and now this pawn is more closer to the center, and uh, we have open b file, so we can use that for attack on the king. So rook b8, maybe, who knows, rook b2 if he allow us. Or again, maybe we can, tra we can try something with uh, queen a5 check, and then again the king... Uh, won't be able anymore to castle because if we if he uh, moves the king or if we force him to move the king then then of course the king the king will stay in the center which is our priority here that is why white capture here on f6 if we capture on on f6 with our queen this is kind of tempo move because the pawn on d4 is hanging so still we have speed in, in attack as you can see we already played three moves but black didn't white didn't move anything to uh, save his king from from attack so he didn't play anything so still he needs three temples to spend if he wants to castle this is great thing for black so uh, white played queen c3 which is a worse move here probably better move was uh, e3 but then again we can play c5 and we will open position in the center so now uh, I, I would say that we already achieve something so white is in really dangerous position because in every moment uh, we can start with attack and the king will be still in the center so um, white will suffer suffer because of that so he played queen c3 here but uh, he didn't stop us so we can continue with, with attack so take a pause if you want and try to find some good uh, idea for black how to continue with with attack okay the move is uh, c5 what a nice move after c5, uh, practically everything will be forcing uh, for for black. So if he doesn't take with a pawn, which is 
of course losing uh, will result for white to lose the queen so he must take with the queen then or to play e3 but then we will capture and then the center is still open so it's not good for for white so queen c5 but then again we can play tempo move don't pay attention about material thing now because it's more important how to organize good attack on on the king so rook c8 rook from a to c8 we are bringing our rook who is sleeping on a8 now he's on open file and uh, we are taking more space now and we we are putting our pieces to work together so rook c8 is so good move queen d5 he captured our pawn but after that we can play rook from f to d8 and uh, now we have practically everything in position so we sacrifice the bishop on on h5 it's not kind of operation blitzkrieg because he doesn't need to take that and uh, but there is some uh, similar things like operation blitzkrieg we will sacrifice on h5 because we need speed in our attack so if we don't play that probably he can play e3 and again he can develop the bishop and he will castle he will run away with his king so we need to continue to keep with the pressure so rook from f to d8 we are attacking his queen and now we have both rooks active and with the queen that will be really really strong attack okay so why decided here to capture our bishop and uh, now it's so easy to see what what will come here because what is coming here because um, we, we, we prepare well position so now it's just execution so queen takes on d4 and uh, now we have uh, threat on the rook and uh, one more and that is checkmate on a couple of ways maybe queen uh, d2 or queen c3 doesn't matter that will be checkmate okay so now he decided to sacrifice the rook so maybe we have better choice here for black now to to keep with the tensions here to keep uh, pressure on the king but no i decided here because this was my game i decided to capture the, uh, the rook why because i saw that that will uh, that is winning position now for black so why to bother to spend the time because this was blitz game and uh, to to think and to waste the time when i saw one variation how i can win the game i will go for that so queen takes and now i can capture the pawn why this pawn is so important for for black we will promote in the few moves we can just push the pawn and this pawn will be next win probably um what why can do about that practically nothing the, the bishop is stuck the rook is stuck uh the queen can't do anything alone so practically white doesn't know what to play here i mean there is no good answer for him uh, so he played h4 idea is to probably to activate the rook and to try to attack our king or to keep uh, to keep us busy with that thing but we don't need to pay attention about that we can uh, do something what is important and that is to, to trade the queens i know that it's not good to trade the queens when you are attacking his king and your king is totally safe but now we are simplifying position something what is so important in chess try to simplify position when you have more material so one thing what can lead us to the safe winning position so queen c5 we exchange the queens he must exchange and then i don't know he pushed the pawn again maybe he wants to bring the rook yeah probably he wants to bring the rook on fourth rank but take a pause if you want try one move uh, try to find one move which uh, won't allow him to play rook uh, rook h4 in the next move okay so that move is rooks uh, rook c1 idea is uh, to put both rooks on the first rank and then the bishop is hanging so someone needs to protect that bishop and that will be i mean second defender will be rook so uh, whatever he play next we will play rook uh, d1 and uh, both pieces and uh, the king and the rook must stay there to protect that uh, bishop and for that time we can just push the pawn so practically we don't need anything else to improvise here we can just push the pawn and to promote new queen so that is why white decided to resign here and um, of course this is smart decision because there is no counter attack from his side and what else he can do so again uh, when you see that your opponent uh, didn't develop his pieces he's uh, he has some problem with in develop try to keep him busy we will work uh, different type of positions uh, with the same idea but uh, for now we have uh, this position and uh, we are using uh, practically in the, in, the, in the every situation same technique keep him busy this is the best thing how you can uh, 
stop him from developing his pieces and especially to uh, secure his king because he wants to castle and of course the king will be safe like our now so our king is totally safe here because he's uh, in good position so if you like this video please subscribe and see you in the next video